The FBI this morning says that the San Bernardino shooters were radicalized for quite some time. But investigators don't know how or why. A newly released photo shows Syed Uzwan Farouk and Tashfeen Mullock at Chicago's O'Hare Airport last year. It was her first known visit to this country. The month before, they were married. Officials say their preparation for the terror attack included shooting practice. Carter Evans is at the Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino. That's the scene of the massacre. Carter, good morning. Good morning. We now know Farouk and Malik had taken target practice leading up to the attack, and it appears Farouk visited an area gun range just days before the rampage. Syed Rizwan Farouk visited the Riverside Magnum Range to practice firing his semi-automatic AR-15 rifle just two days before he and his wife, Tashfeen Malik, killed 14 people in San Bernardino. He came in like a normal guy. John Galetta is a firearms instructor at the gun range. He uh, was quiet. He was to himself. Um, and um, he, he shot well. So he'd had some training. Apparently, yes. Before he came here. Apparently, yes. At one point, Farouk's rifle started smoking as he fired it, and he approached employee Mike McGee. What does that tell you about his experience with guns? Well, the experience with the rifle tells me that it was a new rifle. He was not familiar with it. The company has turned over surveillance video and sign-in logs to the FBI. Federal investigators say the assault rifles used in the attack were purchased by Enrique Marquez, who lived next door to Farouk during his high school years. Sources tell CBS News that FBI agents questioned Marquez on Monday. He has not been arrested and is now providing them with information. Investigators have conducted more than 400 interviews so far, but they're still trying to determine a motive. We have learned and believe that both subjects were radicalized and have been for quite some time. Now, how did that happen? The question we're trying to get at is how did that happen and by whom and where did that happen? Federal authorities also continue to search the couple's digital trail. They're looking for any evidence of contact with known extremists or any outside financial support. We want to find out everyone who profited from it, finance, finance it. And I'm not saying there is anything like that, but we will leave no stone unturned. Farouk's co-workers had active shooter training here at the Inland Regional Center one year ago. In a chilling twist, it was in the very room where the attack occurred. But Nora, it's unknown if Farouk attended. Carter, very disturbing.